and if you have had a significant event in your life that has forever changed you. Me too. Mine was growing up. I grew up in central Minnesota on a dairy farm, the second oldest of six siblings. If that was not enough to get me going on being an entrepreneur, I don't know what ever would be. But I struggled. I struggled figuring out what I should do for my advertising and what customers I should be working with. I literally threw my advertising at the wall like spaghetti just to see where they would stick. And you can imagine what happened from there. I worked with customers that didn't align with me as a person and that didn't align with my business. I had no idea what I was doing. I wasted so much money. And that was until I discovered one very important thing, and that's core values. What are core values? Well, they're your beliefs that help guide your decisions in your business and your life. And they allow you to cut through all of that noise that's coming at you every single day. They are truly what are at your core. I like to think of them as guideposts. They light your way. And as guardrails, you know when you go bowling, those little, yes, they keep you on the right path. They're what fill your heart and what also break your heart. And I must tell you, they are not going to come down from the sky bearing a great big pink neon sign that says your core values. It's not going to happen. Instead, they're going to come to us in small, quiet whispers throughout our lives. I often get asked, well, what does it look like or feel like if I don't know what my core values are? Well, you're usually flying by the seat of your pants, and you're paying attention to all this stuff that's happening out in your peripheral vision, and it's taking you away from what really, really matters at your core. You essentially have no courage, and you don't take any risks, and you don't grow your business. You have no processes, so you have no clarity, and you don't grow your business. You have no roadmap, and you have no confidence, and you don't grow your business. So when I set out on the journey to try to figure out what my core values were, I came up with four questions that I want to share with all of you today. I think you'll be able to take these away and really get to the root of what your core values are. And they're very easy. Number one, what do you enjoy celebrating? Now, I'm not talking about birthdays and anniversaries and your typical holidays that you would normally celebrate. I'm talking about what gets you excited in here, in your heart. What is something that you really enjoy celebrating? What is it that makes you want to pick up your phone and call your best friend and go, oh my god, can you believe this? I can't believe this just happened to me. I'm so excited. I'm actually getting chills right now. I'm so excited. What is that? That's what fills your heart, my friends. So think about that. Now, if you don't want to look like the woman on the screen, think about question number two. When was the last time you were angry or frustrated? What was it? Did somebody lie to you? Maybe a timeline kind of got off track on something that you were working on. Think about what values were being squashed in that very moment. What was it? And write it down, because you may not remember it next time until it actually happens. This, my friend, is something that breaks your heart. Question number three. What do you want to be known for? What do you want your family or your friends, your coworkers to say about you? How do you want to live out your day-to-day -day life? What does that look like? Are you living it now? And question number four, your top challenges and your top successes. Now, your top successes, they may not necessarily have to be monetary. They can be inconsequential to your neighbor, but to you, they're very important. This, my friends, is something that fills your heart. And then your top challenges. Think about going on in life and, and you're doing something and you're off on the wrong path. Sometimes we let our ego get in the way and take us down the wrong path. You need to listen to those whispers, guys. So just to recap the four questions. Number one, what do you enjoy celebrating? Remember, this is what fills your heart. It's not necessarily holidays. Number two, what frustrates you? Think about what is being squashed in that very moment. That's what breaks your heart. What do you want to be known for? What do you want others to say about you? This, my friends, that's a heart filler. And what are your top successes and your top challenges? This is a heart filler and a heartbreaker. When I defined my core values, 
It helped me remove the things in my business that didn't work for me. It let me add in the things that mattered to me and mattered to my core values. It not only changed my business, it changed my life. And friends, once you know what your core values are, you're going to understand your purpose and your mission, and you're going to be able to run your business as a true extension of yourself. And that, for each and every one of you, is going to make you unstoppable. Woo. <laughs>